is Alexandra Kutley. I'm an ESL teacher in the Laurentians. I currently teach Secondary 2 and Secondary 3. I discovered Recap last year and I was looking for ways of integrating it. I love the idea of having students videotape themselves and that it would be completely different from having answers always on paper. What I first did was most often I use the guiding question in my units. I use a textbook. Every textbook unit has a guiding question and I would use it at the end of the unit to see if students could actually answer the guiding question and see if we cover the material properly. I also used it with novels to ask for their opinion or ask uh, specific questions related to the themes of the novel and I also used it with movies sometimes where I would pause a movie and for the next class they had to answer a question about what they thought would happen next or uh, which character they appreciated most at this point and they needed to justify their answers. When I use Recap before I do a, a video, I write my text for uh, help me when uh, I record uh, my uh, oral. So uh, when I will respond to a question, I click here. And here I have a question, why should we respect the law? So I write my text and I, I do respond to this question. When I have finished, I uh, stop the video and I can listen my uh, oral and I do next for uh, submit my video. That's it. I think they need witness to get a better understanding of the sun and what happened. They also need evidence such as fingerprint. They must be attentive to the detail of the crimson. Of course, they need the scene when the crime took place. They must become to understand the same and for resolve the crime. When I, I correct the recap videos, because I do correct them, sometimes they're evaluated, sometimes it's just for comments. Uh, there's a section on the teacher's platform that you can click on that says play all and it basically plays one video after the other so you don't have to keep on clicking back and forth so when you're done one video it automatically loads the next one and basically what I do is I sit I watch the videos and as I'm watching I type in comments and then it goes on to the next video depending on the length of the video that you assigned it can take me half an hour to watch all the videos for one group. A different type of correction too, because you're sitting, you're listening to the students, and it creates this bond with the students. It, you see them in their elements, they tell you things they would never tell you on a little quiz that they did in class. What was wonderful is to see those students who don't speak in class, that I never hear, that are doing group discussions, but will say, I agree, yes, and that's it. And all of a sudden, they're talking to me. And they're talking on this video because on recap, they can re-record the video if they don't like it. Until they're satisfied with their answer, they don't actually click send. So they're able to take their time, prepare what they need to say, and talk to me. So I've discovered students that were really, really good, but in class, I would have never known. So that allowed me to come back to class after and go to a student and say, Julie, this was amazing. Your video was so great. You're so good. Not all of them are going to automatically become participants in class, but some of them actually did, and it took more risks because of it. It also allowed me to hear some of their personal interests because when they're expressing why they like a character in the book, they have personal reasons, and they'll say they remind me of my brother and start talking to me about their brother in English and sharing their lives. So it gives me this link after in class to say, hey, uh, how's your brother that you told me in your recap question and so forth, and create those links with a student who might not speak to me in a second language classroom because they're so intimidated to just speak. So that allowed me to create bonds on top of giving them confidence. Mm -hmm.